Destroying the ozone layer, one band at a time. This is Mark Arson's Big Hair Show on Live365.com. Mark Arson on the Big Hair Show at Live365.com. Joining me on the show is the guy that fronts the band coming to Southland Ballroom in Raleigh on Thursday, August 18th. He's the lead vocalist, guitarist, and founding member of the late 80s rock band Rhino Bucket. George DeLevo, welcome to the Big Hair Show. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Uh, George, I saw Rhino Bucket for the first time back in 1990 at a legendary club here in Raleigh. Unfortunately, it was torn down recently called The Brewery. You guys were touring in support of your debut self-titled album. Can you give us a little glimpse of what the band has been through since those early days, you know, in the late 80s, early 90s, and where you guys are now with your latest album in 2011, uh, Who's Got Mine? Oh, sure, no problem. I mean, we we kept on uh, touring uh, from when you saw us down at the brewery in 1990. Uh, supported two more albums, Rhino Bucket. Second album was Get Used to It, and the third one was Pain. Switched drummers in between there. Had Simon Wright, who used to be in uh, ACDC, and Theo uh, came on board for that album. Toured relentlessly again, and then uh, basically it took a break for a little bit, and kind of just all went our separate ways and um, worked on different musical stuff, but on a one-off to a favor for Ricky Rackman in the Cat House, we uh, came together to a reunion gig, and we brought Brian from Kicks along with us. Yes. And we started just enjoying playing music again. We felt the, you know, the, the need to scratch that itch, which is basically playing straight ahead rock and roll the way you know, Rhino Bucket has been doing it. The band has come together really nicely now. We have a drummer that's just joined us named Michael Agata. So we're touring right now in support of the album. We've done two tours in Europe already this year. We've been touring Europe for the last couple of years. It's really good. The band's in a good place, and we're looking to do... Uh, Another album, again, that's uh, recorded this fall, early spring of 2012, get it out there, because I remember the four years I wasn't in Rhino Bucket there in the middle of the late 90s or something, yeah. and there was a certain lost feeling to the whole process for me. I tried other music, I tried to live the white picket fence lifestyle, I just failed gloriously at everything, except... Uh, being in a uh, rock and roll band. I'm in a good place now. I think the whole band is. You're listening to The Big Hair Show on Live365.com. Mark Arson speaking with George DeLevo, founding member, guitarist, and lead vocalist for the band Rhino Bucket. And George, you mentioned earlier playing with Brian Damage Forsyth, legendary kicks guitarist, who is your bandmate now in Rhino Bucket, I guess going back almost 10 years at this point. What's it like having Brian in the band? Oh, it's great. You know, it's it's a, it's a really weird and strange coincidence because we had become friendly with Kicks when the original lineup of Rhino Bucket was doing what it was doing. And we always got along well with uh, Brian and uh, most of the guys. Uh, Brian moved out to L.A. when he quit Kicks, and we kind of ran into each other and talked about various things. But when it came time to do the Rhino Bucket reunion and get back together, which, went, you know, again, at first we thought it was just going to be one gig, but it turned into a full-blown band again, thank God. Um you know, Brian was the one and only call we made to see if he could do it. He, you know, he's he's a natural fit to the band. He's been in the band already almost 10 years or mm-hmm. over 10 years. I can't imagine anybody being in the band but Brian, and that includes the original guitar player. I mean, it's it's a good mold. He's wow. a great guitar player, a great guy. He still does some kicks gigs here now and then, but he's a full member of the band. He does our albums, and, uh, you know, it's, it's cool. It's fun. You know, no disrespect to Greg, who was great. I mean, you know, and a brother to me, and... Uh, Love him, but uh, Brian certainly brings a certain amount of uh, special element to the band that uh, I think makes us rock even harder a little bit. Now, Rhino Bucket's got a pretty good following in Europe. Any difference between playing for the European fans and when you're over here stateside? Yeah, you know, outside the club, the culture's different, the food's different, you know, everything's different. But once you get into a rock club, it doesn't really matter if you're in, you know, Orihuela, Spain, or uh, Zurich, Switzerland, or Helsinki, Finland, or wherever you are. Rock is rock, and people appreciate it, and people are pretty much the same. And, and we're really lucky that we have some fans that are truly, truly uh, supportive of the band all over the world. Rhino Bucket's latest album is Who's Got Mine, and they are going to be live at the Southland Ballroom in Raleigh. August 18th. Where should fans go for the latest news on Rhino Bucket and where you guys are going to be on tour next? Well, you know, the, the easiest thing is always to go to rhinobucket.com and there's a link there to our Facebook page and MySpace page. The Facebook is pretty probably the one that's updated the most. But you can also, if you have, you know, a really specific question, you can always email info at rhinobucket.com. Eventually, sometimes pretty quickly, it comes straight to me and then uh, I'll write you back. George DeLevo of Rhino Bucket, man. Thank you so much for joining us on the Big Hair Show and definitely looking forward to the concert at Southland Ballroom August 18th in Raleigh.
Absolutely, so am I. The whole band's excited about coming in there. We haven't been there in a little while, and it's going to be a kick-ass night. Moose. Check. Spandex. Check. Hot babes for the video. Uh, and check. This is Mark Arson's Big Hair Show on Live365.com.